Hello folks and welcome back to the glorious Byzantine Empire. We are on our way to glory. I mean, we're already glorious, but in this episode I think we will try to reconquest Jerusalem and take Vienna because, you know, Vienna would be very nice since then we can westernize and from there on I hope to take down the Holy Roman Empire, although that's a bigger project. It's, pr yeah, it's probably gonna take a while. We'll see what I can do about Rome. I, uh, really want that too. So I guess the goal within the next 50 years is to restore the Pentarchy. Let's do it. Oh, apparently the Mamluks are allied with Kilwa and I didn't know they were such a big powerhouse at all. Had, hadn't noticed them, but I, I don't think they can get troops through here. Shouldn't be too much of a problem. Let's go ahead and actually uh, crush these people. What's uh, what's Jerusalem called? Al-Quds? Al-Quds. So let's go ahead and take that. Uh, Telemachian will join for provinces. Let's make them join. Let's declare the war and we are at war. Cairo and Damascus are already under siege, or Cairo will be under siege very soon. Uh, Damascus is already under siege. I think this war should be rather easy. What I'm worried about is Morocco and maybe Kilwa, but I think Flemishan can deal with them, uh, even though they have some problems of their own. Our general died in the middle of the siege, so I think I'm going to use this army to go back and then try to crush these guys before they unite. We lost the battle. They uh, joined up together there, but we're going to re unite at Damascus and maybe we'll stand a chance. I think I might bring in my 40 stack uh, to deal with this. Yeah, 80,000 versus 25 is uh, pretty much, you know, a done deal. Oh, they're actually gonna... Oh, I thought they tried something. What? Oh, Tlemish and those bastards. I mean, I knew they had problems, but I didn't think it would come to this. Hey, the first circumnavigation, that actually took a while. Uh, 99 days to cross the ocean westward. Already? Or wait, no, 99 is pretty long. Yeah, this, uh... Yeah, I mean, it's like 100 years late compared to the real world. Ha, huh. gain free relations with, like, all our neighbors, that's pretty nice. Thank you very much. Eh, I could keep fighting, but I think this is good enough for now. I mean, the, the Mamluks are kind of doomed already, so we'll uh, just fight the states that start appearing from their provinces, hopefully. And uh, let's take Jerusalem. Let's see. Oh, recover Jerusalem, blah, blah, blah. What's our next mission? Reclaim Sicily, restore the Pentarchy. But do we get a claim on Jerusalem and Rome? Oh, we need to reconvert to Jerusalem. So now it's just Rome that's left. Do we get a claim? That's the question. Oh, yes, Jerusalem reclaimed. Uh, so we get Deus Vult, which is really nice. And we also get Conquest of Jerusalem, which is also really nice. And yes, the answer is we do get a claim on Rome. Uh, but we're just going to mess with our navy, get things together. After all, Ro Rome is in a coalition against us, so we'll have to prepare for it. The Papal State has left the military coalition against us. Ah, oh, the fools, the fools, they have no idea what's coming. Well, maybe they do, but they then they wouldn't have left, would they? So our only valid rival left is Russia. Uh, but, you know, Russia is like my best pal, so... No, thanks. I'll, uh, I'll keep Spain and Persia on my uh, sites. Oh, stupid nobility always wanting stuff. I'll, uh, I'll take this stability hit. How much does it cost to get up back up though? Uh, oof, 135, that's, that's harsh. Let's actually handle these guys over here. Thank you very much. New leader, another stability drop, and this guy's really shitty. Oh no. Uh, what do we do? No legal heir? What happens if Leeds Personal Union, same dynasty, uh, Russia, okay, just another guy, okay, good. Changing patterns of consumption, yes, thank you very much, I know about sugar. Oh, wait, plus 50%, I thought it became a luxury, but an affordable one, not up 50%, that's ridiculous. What? Noble rebels, hmm, they will be crushed. 
They underestimate the power of the dark side. Oh yes, it has happened. Diplomatic reputation's down though, but uh, that's fine. We'll declare war. Oh, Western arms trade, beautiful things. Uh, Costs Billy against Bakara. Oh, look at that name. Isn't that great? Now, the thing is, uh, we should declare war on Rome ASAP, because I can't sit around here and wait for them to um, join a coalition. So, let's go ahead and take Roma. Thank you very much. Seems like they will take Napoli first, but um, whatever. We'll uh, come in through Ferrara here, and we do have access through them now. So, oh, alone. Ah, oh, shit. A Syrian revolt. Oh, no. Please, stop. Oh, I totally missed it. I had another, like, stack here from annexing Georgia, and I have a bunch of fort, fort, uh, fortresses that are just running here, and I, to I can totally destroy them because, you know, I'm playing kind of offensive, not defensive. Oh, Separatists in Damascus. At least I'm uh, crushing their army here, so hopefully we'll win this war. Rome is ours. It has fallen. Now there will be a battle of the Tyrrhenian Tyrrhenian Sea, and uh, then we can resiege all of this, and I think we'll be done and over with it quite soon. Although there's this uh, Breton army to deal with up north. Siena wants peace. Well... Should we give them peace? Uh, I don't know, I don't know. Should we? I, I don't... I mean, we siege down Siena, it was nice, but they're one of the big guys that have been giving me lots of headaches, so... If they give me money for a bunch of years, I think it's it's okay. I think it is time for peace. The war has lasted for quite a long time. We've, you know, lost a lot of money for this, but uh, hopefully it will be worth it. Let's see. Uh, we gain that territory. Nice, nice. Where's my mission? Oh no, it has to become... Um, it actually has to become uh, Orthodox first, right? That's good. Excellent. Rome reclaimed. Although not always directly controlled by the Empire, Rome finally se uh, se uh, severed all Byzantine times when Pope Leo III crowned Charlemagne, Holy Roman Emperor. Now, however, the city is back in our hands, and although it has suffered much, it's it is still a highly prestigious city to control. Awesome. Uh, what's this? Maintain conquest of Rome. Oh, another missionary. Wow. We're supposed to, like, convert everybody. Uh, regrettably, we've lost... Okay, I don't care. Awesome. We've got uh, Neapolitan separatist again, but uh, I will defend Rome. And in the meantime, we'll destroy the Mamlukian rebels, because those are a bigger threat at the moment. How did I lose? Oh no. Oh, you stupid. Oh no, did I really do that? That's why. We're gonna offer a royal marriage to Switzerland, and then we're gonna use them to destroy Austria eventually. Uh, they're already invading Austria, uh, but you know, soon, one day. Rome has fallen. Oh, my plans, just because of the stupid army upkeep. Ooh, Croatia's a thing. Hello there. Very interesting. Hmm. Well, I'm not gonna touch you now. I just want Austria to collapse. Oh, the bastards, they crossed over. I hate that. Oh, just another year and our mission will be complete. Finally, the Pentarchy has been restored. Byzantium having brought all five Pentarchies back into the Christian Orthodox fold, we have restored the old Pentarchy, thus effectively ending the Great East-West Schism. And while some countries might continue to cling on to Catholicism, the Pope has lost his vaunted primacy, especially the Holy Roman Empire, since they're like a Catholic state. Uh, and yes, uh, who will turn Orthodox? That is the great question. Let's go ahead and make our next mission to take uh, Sicily, because that would be amazing. I'm actually going to go ahead and break my alli alliance with Ming, because... Like, wh why do I have that? It makes zero difference in my life. They will never help me, at least for now, and I will never help them. 
So this is just kind of a waste of diplomatic uh, slots. Wait, I, am I reading this properly? If anything, it deepens it. It certainly gives the Eastern Orthodox Church an advantage, the eternal battle for religious authority. I'm kind of confused. Yeah, whatever. Oh, have we lost the, the relation yet? It'd be very nice if we did. Uh, 2nd of November. Cancel military access. And that is done. So now we'll have to find a new ally. Oh, the next day, or two days later, uh, we've got a new heir to the throne. Finally, I was afraid that, you know, we'd had end up in a succession and under, under a personal union. But uh, here we've got this guy. Let's call him... I don't know. Manual? Manual. I was about to declare war on Naples, but then these rebels ca came up here in the north, which is nice because I uh, put my military maintenance up and we're just gonna go ahead and crush them. Let's go ahead and do this. I, I don't care about Als Alsace, really. I mean, they're like nothing. So let's cross over, destroy them, and we'll be done. Although we can only reach... Uh, no, yeah, we can go. Th okay, so let's enforce... Uh, Orthodoxy on Alsace. Uh, they're negotiating for themselves, and let uh, force them to pay us war reparations and b a bunch of money. So, yeah, that, that's much better. Thank you very much. And now annex Naples. Oh, no diplomats. I love how annexing them and forcing them to pay a bunch of money actually costs less. Like, it costs 53% and we have 100%. It's just kind of funny. But they'll uh, they'll also, like, um, give up the claim in, of Calabria there. And uh, everything will be great. Russia wants me to join a war against Bukhara and Lithuania. Ah, <sighs> yeah, sure, I mean... I won't help out much, I think. I'll uh, just leave my troops around, and if they happen to come close, I'll uh, I'll move them. Persia is no longer a valid rival for Byzantium. Are you telling me that like Russia is the only pers or st nation I can rival? Because that's ridiculous, if you think about it, right? Uh, but we'll see once we reach a peace deal who I can rival. Generally speaking, I'd never do this. Um, I mean, I'd wait two years, but we've we have all the points, and it's just mounting up, and it'd be inefficient not to do this. So let's uh, see what else I can do. Actually, I could have used them on improving provinces. Mm, didn't think about that, did I? Here's the deal: Spain is no longer a valid rival either, so I have no rivals at the moment. It's kind of insane. I'm just waiting for this uh, piece to come along so I can declare a rival. You know, I, I need rivals to get those extra juicy points. <laughs> I love how we only have one available mission. Uh, but, you know, that that's, seems like a good mission. Who is Sienna allied with? Not really that many people. I think I can take them down right now. No. Soon. Hey, I just realized something. If I attack Siena, they're allied with uh, Ferrara. So I'm going to go ahead and um, fabricate a claim on Ferrara. And then we'll finally almost have a full connection here. And uh, we'll only have Rome or the Papal States to take care of. Uh, Switzerland, I don't know. I mean, we'll see what happens in the future. Something rather funny in this war is that Nogai declared independence, uh, but the war was for Rin, like Russia wanted Rin. And now they don't have, uh, won't be able to take that. So that's unfortunate. Ah, oh, Siena is actually all of this. Oh, hello there. Right, we'll have to fabricate some claims here because I, didn't, I had no idea you had moved your capital to Sardinia. You know, I was gonna wait until this war here was over, but it's taking so long that I can't be bothered. So let's already go ahead and attack Siena. Uh, they shouldn't put up too much resistance, I think. Uh, Ferrara, Ravensburg, Nuremberg won't join. So let's go ahead and do so. Would anyone join? No, thanks. Or no. And the, I mean, it would be nice if someone joined, but they won't. 
Right, and let's move ahead to Rome. And then up north. Actually, let's go north directly. Too few men to siege the province. I have 10,000, they only have 4,000. How does that make any sense? Oh, peace. Awesome. Uh, let's see. Russia now owes us two favors. I don't care. Regency Council. No. Oh, oh well. At least we're winning this war. Ah, some important woman in the universities. Blah, 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 blah. Can't read. Or I can't bother to read this much text right now. So, yearly prestige. Yes, thank you. Instead of um, some stupid level 2. I mean, I... You know, need level threes. Ah, Ferrara shall be mine, and we'll force religion on them. So that's uh, pretty nice. Think that converts Ferrara automatically since it's the capital, right? Yes, that's good. Excellent. We have two more years to attack um, Austria. Although I'll, I can just reclaim Vienna, to be honest. Uh, yeah, I was gonna say that we'd have a regency council, council so that won't be possible. Ah, now we force uh, religion on Ravensburg, so we get another orthodox state in the Holy Roman Empire. And then we can go ahead and uh, ask for peace here. Oh, I need another diplomat. I think this is good, they'll pay some ducats, they'll give up claims in Byzantium, and they will cede Arezzo to Byzantium. Send the demands, and voila! Lots of completed things and beauty, and we need to put some rivals, so I'm gonna check on that. Ah, this is so pro problematic. I mean, Russia's my best friend, pretty much, and Switzerland's a good friend right now, because I want to crush Austria. Um, so I think I'm gonna go ahead and crush Austria first, and then we'll rival Switzerland or something of the kind. It's very unfortunate that we can't rival other people. I know I'm very powerful, but it would be nice once you reach the top, to be able to rival anyone. I'd love to take on one of these missions right now, but either of these two, Lombardy or Northern Italy, would put me at odds with Switzerland, who I need to destroy Austria. So I'm thinking I'm gonna wait. And Tripoli, yeah, sure, but I really don't can't bother to go down south right now. My priorities are in the north. So we're gonna wait with taking on the next mission. Oh yeah, and we, we can't declare war. Oh, I hate Regency, Regency Council so much. Why do we lost the claim? Yeah, I don't care. Ferrara is no longer part of the Holy Roman Empire. Slowly, it collapses. Wow, this new world is actually pretty far out. So maybe they haven't actually started colonizing. Uh, I'm hoping that's the case, because then they can go ahead and crush Spain. Although uh, they, I can't rival them, unfortunately. Um, yeah. And Switzerland, we have a royal marriage with them that have to go. Oh, the Tlemachin is calling me into a war against the Mamluks. Uh, which is nice. Uh, although... Let's go ahead and actually recover Tripoli, because then the Mamluks have some of those provinces and maybe we can get them. Uh, I'll accept. Hey, Tatooine, that must be the place where uh, George Lucas filmed Tatooine because that was actually filmed in the desert in uh, Tunisia, so, hmm, I didn't know that, you know, maybe he took the inspiration from the actual place. So, policies are very important and they can only be implemented every 25 years, but um, since we finished uh, the military tree, uh, or quant quantity and trade ideas there, I think I'm gonna go for goods produced. This is nice, like attrition for enemies, but the garrison growth, like, it doesn't really matter to me. So this is what I'm gonna go for. And actually, you can add lots of them, can't you? So that's good. Oh, finally a new leader, Manuel III. He's kind of shitty, to be honest, and I know he's a good military leader, but meh, whatever. Hmm, Morocco's out of the war. Fine, okay, I don't care. Um, although, yeah, Tlemachin is getting quite big. Maybe we can rival them in the future instead of Switzerland. That, that'd be cool. Uh, I'd love to take, um, more stuff, but, uh, and I'd love to, you know, for Tlemachin to do the peace offer, but I'm afraid that they would disagree with my, uh, you know, methods. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this myself. Can, can they just, like, return cores now? 
Ah, wait, yeah. Uh, give up claims. No. Yeah, or transfer trade power. No, of course not. War operations. No. Well, this is good enough. Screw it, Lemachin. Oh, beautiful. Now there's some stuff I need to fix here, but now with the Mamluks uh, dissipating, we can do it. Ah, Persia can be rivaled. Thank you very much. I'm gonna go ahead and embargo them, uh, which will give me some uh, power projection, and things will be good. Ah, screw Switzerland. They wouldn't join the war against Austria. Well, too bad. I uh, I think I can handle this on my own. I'm gonna go ahead and declare without Russia. Why are they not distant war? Yeah, well. Too bad. And this is the debt and stuff. Great Britain fighting another war. Well, alright. Oh my god, are you kidding me? Look at that. L oh, wow. We can have 223,000 soldiers. I'm, I'm gonna start building. How, how, how much is that? Like 80? Or 8 Thracians? That's amazing. Oh, finally a decent leader here. It's our emperor. Basileus Manuel III. Hopefully he will be able to crush these guys. I mean, they are Western tech units, which is pretty stupid, but uh, I think we'll win. And it is won. The Austrian army has be been obliter obliterated at Schonde, Schonde. Yeah, they are screwed. Sorry, I miscalculated there for a second. It's four Thracians, which are my basic uh, units here. But I've already made two, and I need some more money. I'll made a th make a third, and soon we'll have a massive army. Persia is no longer a valid rival again. I, I don't understand this. Like, why? I'm very tempted to uh, do this peace, peace treaty here, but I'm thinking I'll send my troops over to Ansbach, force religion on Ansbach, and then take this peace treaty. Oh, hey, the New World's quite interesting. We see Uruk here, which is a Catholic kingdom. Uh, but apparently some somewhat independent uh, rival with Norway, and then we've got some tribal areas here, and of course we've got the Portuguese Ing Inca Inter Ingetarger. Yes, yes, very interesting, and more Portuguese stuff. So yeah, Portugal probably has the upper hand, and we'll have to come after them eventually, maybe if I have time in this let's play. New air, and again, good but really bad. Let's call him uh, Andreas Leon. No, let's call him uh, Andreas, Andreas, yeah. Andreas. Hessian Purge of Ansbach in Heresy. I'm not here to help them. Okay, screw that. Send the demands. And voila. Glory, glory to the Empire. And now we can actually westernize. Although I do need separatism to be under one, so I'm gonna convert them first. So, now with everything cleared, I think I'm gonna go ahead and rival Switzerland. Wait, let me just double check who their rivals are. Great Britain, Austria, and Spain, that's good. We've got Great Britain on our side. And they're in turmoil, so let's uh, go ahead and do it. Screw you, Switzerland. Ha! Huh. Austria wants Vienna back. Of course not. Hmm, Saxony wants me to help them in the war against Bavaria, which uh, may force Brandenburg into the war, but uh, I think I can take it. I can help them out a little bit. And thus Saxony has expanded our little puppet within the Holy Roman Empire. They're not our vassal, which is unfortunate because, you know, it's hard to vassalize someone within the Empire. Um, almost impossible, actually. And now, yeah, now it's impossible. Absolutely. But, um, oh well. Saxony again. Uh, yeah, yeah, sure. Uh, I'm thinking about cancelling my Tripoli mission, because now I can, uh, you know, do missions against Switzerland, and that will raise our power projection. Uh, although, cancelling means, like, we have to wait, oh, a whole year. Yeah, that's that's okay. Hmm. Excellent. Oh, we're falling behind on technology. You can see that in the 1620s, the idea of combining a shot and powder into a single unit. We're in the 1670s. 
I thought I'd get a nice mission, but I don't, so I'm gonna go for reduce overextension since we're almost there in uh, any case. Another Regency Council? You must be kidding me. How old is mo this monarch now? <gasps> no way. No. And I was making so much progress. No way. Uh, will it make a difference if I give Prague and these sieges to... To the co or no, you know what? Let's leave it like this. Ah, peace. Let's see. Uh, the old Bohemia will seed some s just one, and then give stuff to Austria. Ah, and Hungary. Hungary's back. Uh, yeah, that's nice. Okay. Whatever. I thought they'd uh, they'd you know get more stuff, but whatever. You know. <laughs> you know, I can't talk today, sorry. Oh no, this is not what I want, recover Tunis or recover Tripoli, I want European things, okay? Uh, rival of a rival, well, but Spain is rival to Russia, so no, no, no thanks. Uh, apparently I can't recall these uh, provinces from the Holy Roman Empire because I have a truce with Austria and my truce is gonna take another nine years hmm I know they're rival with Russia but maybe we could get um yeah let's try a royal marriage and stuff you know it'd be nice to perhaps get a personal union with Spain I don't know about Russia can we get a Union with them? No. I mean, they keep getting ears all the time. Screw it, we got an alliance. Yeah, let's see. Ah, recover Lombardia. That's what I want, thank you very much. I absolutely hate this Regency Council thing. That's why Republics are better, because, you know, you never get this kind of issue. And you always get, you know, average Joes, or pretty good leaders. Oh yes, we've gained the imperialism cost us belly against like everyone, which is awesome uh, because I got technology uh, tech 22, which gave me advanced cost of belly. I was ahead in time, but whatever. I don't have anything else to spend on. Hey, let's support rebels in Rhodes and Cyprus. That'd be great. Oh, you gotta love this. I swear it says Austrian Austria proper right there. You see that? Oh. <laughs> like, as if this isn't Austria, and that is, like, Austria proper, and they don't really control it. Oh, amazing. I was gonna go for a military idea, but we're really capping on diplomatic points. Um, I mean, our next heir is probably not great on military, so... Ah, this is so difficult. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go for maritime ideas, because those are cool, right? Ah, <laughs> Croatia's at war with Austria, that's cool. I hope they succeed. Finally here, let's remove Vienna from this stupid Holy Roman Empire. Bye-bye. And then I'm gonna go continue to do that on the rest. And here was I, kind of clueless to what separatism is, and that's, it's just a value that, you know, starts off at 30 when you conquer a non-cord province, and then it reduces by one point every year, and you can see it in the breakdown here, it's at 7.5 right now, so we'll have to wait seven years, and then we'll be able to go western. Hey, I haven't been at war in a while, let's, uh, let's go ahead and declare war Fort Parma and all these three provinces there. Ah, oh, finally an epic battle. Look at that. We had more than 100,000 men engaged. I think 120. Um, and they had only like 60 or so. Ah, this is good enough for them. Let's uh, send our demands. And voila, Burgundy's out of the war. Which gets me closer to taking down Mantua here. I was gonna try to force religion on Salzburg, but um, I can't do that, so... Let's uh, force them to give us money, money, and more money, and what else? I don't know. Let's do it. I'm getting 50 ducats a month with full army upkeep. This is insane. I've never... I, I don't think I've done this before. I mean, they may have changed the, the mechanics a bit, but that that's an insane amount. This is a beautiful empire. 
Excellent. Now, uh, we'll force... We can't force religion on them either, but I'll make them release two nations. So we'll weaken the empire and their uh, voters. Um, and eventually, maybe orthodoxy shall reach them. Well, goodbye, Mantua. You are part of me now. Ah, oh, yes. Next up, Switzerland, or maybe the Papal States. So, just four more years to become Western, and we can pretty much declare war on Switzerland now and be pretty sure that we'd win, although the Netherlands and Austria, I don't know. They'd probably say no, though. Would they? Yeah. Um, but we, we'd, we could get Lemachen and uh, Great Britain, of course. And maybe Russia? No. Distant war, yeah. But Spain would probably join eventually if they can get out of debt and out of the other war. Um, but in general, I think we could go to war with Switzerland right now. However, there we have gone over 50 years now, so I think this is a pretty good place to end the episode at, as always. And, um, yeah. Don't forget to leave a like if you enjoy the video. really helps the channel out. And subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, do leave comments below if uh, with suggestions for what I should do next. Uh, other than, you know, destroy Switzerland. And, uh, yeah. I'll see you later. Farewell.